What we began as and what we are and what we need to be in the future may not necessarily be the same thing. And we have to have a vision for what that looks like. You can have any kind of information you want. It's what do you do with it and what insight do you get from it? For the first time, instead of understanding where consumers live, we're now being able to see how they move and what that movement does for a trade area and what that movement does for a location decision. GIS is now very much part of our everyday language, helping us to get onto our targets in terms of understanding where the opportunities actually exist. It brings the knowledge to our clients faster. And at the end of the day, that ultimately leads to faster decisions and ultimately better decisions. The way that we move people and goods from point A to point B is gonna change dramatically. And I'm not talking 20 years out. This is happening now. We've reduced our cost by 300 to $400 million a year. You don't need to make huge changes to make a large impact. Look at little things. Little things matter. There's about 200, 300 disasters a year that are bigger events. They could be floods, tornadoes, smaller hurricanes. We're trying to learn how we can provide more service to more people with compassion and quality. It's people's lives, it's families, it's their property. The biggest challenge we have is synthesizing data in information that's useful. There's going to come a point where geospatial technology is going to be an absolute. Given that everything that we do is 100% location-based, it just makes sense that technology be leveraged.